Hey, today we're making my favorite pasta dish, and mark my words, this is my favorite. Uh, I'll eventually make a top five favorite, but this is pasta alla norcina. It's a pasta from the region of Umbria, and Umbria is a uh, is a region in Italy that's really popular for truffles and hot sausages, and I'm going to show you how to make it. Okay, so our first step is to take the skin off of our hot sausage. It's going to make the consistency of the hot sausage a lot more palatable in our pasta. Now, I'm Vincent's dad, and this is probably one of my uh, favorite uh, pastas. Now, Vincent's you stole on my line. Hey, I stole his line. Well, anyway, too bad. <laughs> Right. Okay, this is our hot sausage once the skin has been removed. Okay, so our first step is to um, put our extra virgin olive oil in our pan. About four or five tablespoons. Our extra, or our garlic here. And just so it doesn't burn, we're just going to put a little water in there. All right, now we're going to come in with our onions. And we got about one onion here. Well, we're going to get ready for the sausages. Is that right, Vince? And that is right. All right. Okay, now we're going to come in with our sausage. Mm -hmm. And we want our, our sausage to remember to be all cooked so we don't... We want it to be all gray. We don't want any red. We want to crush it up like so. This is uh, still cooking, so you can see there's still a little bit of red in there. We want all the red out. Okay, now we're ready for our white wine, so we're just going to Pour this in here, and remember, we want it to all cook out. We want we we don't we don't want any alcohol in the dish itself. Do you have any wine wine for me, Vince? I certainly do. Is it the good wine? It's the good wine, <laughs> Vinci Pinot Grigio. Okay, so now we're ready to make our ricotta cream. So we're basically going to just start off with our um, ricotta, right? And we're going to come in with about four tablespoons of Pecorino Romano. And we're just going to mix this together until we get like a nice cream. Now, one thing that you could do is get a little bit of pasta water and mix it in there, which I'm going to probably do. Just not too uh, much, just a little yeah. bit at a time. Uh -huh. All right. Make sure we don't waste any. We're just folding the, the uh, sauce together with the wine. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to put a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper in here. And remember, don't put too much salt because we have a lot of the cheese already. We're also going to microplane our truffle in here. We're, and we're, you're going to see we're going to top it with more truffle. But I'm using a microplane to get a good bit of truffle in here. All 
All right, we're just going to put some rock salt in here, about a tablespoon. I'll tell you what, that's looking real good. All right, today we're using a pound of rusticella. It's a, it's 13 to 15 minute cook. We're going to do it 13 minutes, finish it in the sauce. This is pakari pasta and we're doing a pound. Got some pasta water and it's cooked for about 13 minutes. So we're going to turn this off and we're just going to strain this into here. And then what we're going to do is take, take the pasta here and just go right into the sauce. Uh -huh. Taking no time. Okay, we're gonna fold that in there. And what we may do is just come in with just a little bit of extra pasta water, just a little bit. Okay, we're gonna fold that in. We're gonna, we're gonna flip it here. Now we're ready to plate our pasta alla norcina. And we're just gonna come in like, like so. Okay. Just gonna get all that goodness out. Okay. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in with a little bit of truffle on top with our microplane. We're going to come in with truffle right on top of our microplane here. Mm -hmm. mm, boy, look at that. Okay, I want to tell you that it was very good, Vince. Good job. <laughs>